Fish on. We've cleaned the ice off extensively here. Corbin's uh, been working hard. Finally got a fish. You see him? Yeah. Not yet. Should be able to see him pretty good. Oh yeah, there he is coming up. Nice fish. Yeah. Beauty. Way to start the day, buddy. Got him. Nice white tips of the, the on the fins of this one. That's what they're still in spawning colors, eh? You take a look and you can see the white, the beautiful white edges. Wow, nice looking fish. He's way short though. Got pliers handy? I do, yes, yeah, I do. So try and get him back in as quick as possible. As you know, 75 centimeters is a big fish. How many times does that stinger hook work like that, eh? There you go, perfect. Good, good to see. Back good in the good hole. To go. Yep. Good to go on. That's a shot. Woo! Don't lose my Leatherman. Wouldn't be happy. Wow, let's drop it down so you can get hammer another one. A lot of times that's the way it is here. Ice has been making some crazy noises today. Sonic booms. Making the big booms. We're in about 80 feet of water here, so it's a little deeper than we like to fish, but it's the spot's a pretty good spot. It's been uh, proven over the years. That would be the perfect eating size, that one, too, eh? Yeah. Like if, uh, they have to be 75 on this lake, which is, wow, that's a, that's a big fish, most lakes. Bottom. There you go. Now he's going to work it a bit. Yeah, warm enough to scoop with your hands today. Were well, you just tough, Kurt Corbin? Yeah, I'm pretty just, tough. Just tough. He's rugged. Didn't take too long, did it? Five minutes. Another one. Look at that. You got another one on here. All right. It's got the hot rod today. That doesn't sound good. But... <laughs> <laughs> Look at that smile. That's all. That's all fish catching fun smile there. Let's see what we got. Trying to get him a little closer. But sure, I bet you he's probably down there 10, 15 feet when we finally get the, the flash out going out of him, eh? How's he feel, bigger? Uh, maybe a little bit. Not, not, not a lot, eh? You're, you're moving him pretty easy. There he is, there, there is. he is. Hey, that's bigger. Definitely bigger. Wow, that's that's a nice fish. Awesome. Still not big enough, but he's definitely bigger than the last one. Get him, Corp, get him! That a boy, watch that hook. There you go. I'm out. Okay, we're out. And once again, the stinger. Always the stinger. They're good, they're good and bad, the stingers. They do catch more fish to you? Oh, actually both, look at that. Whoa, that's nasty. Should be able to get him out. Hopefully he's not bleeding too bad. Oh, yeah. It's the big one's out anyways. No. Don't lose those down the hole. A little bit bigger than the last one, but still, uh, once again, white. Got the nice white edges on those. On those last fins. There he is. Pull them up real quick. Yeah, nice. Back he goes, Joe. Not even worth measuring that fella. Whew, gone. Can you do three? Can I do three? Can he do three? Well, I guess we'll find out in a second. You're making it easy for the cameraman today, Corbin. There, I don't know if you could pick that up on the camera, but that was one of the big rumbles we've been hearing. We got plenty enough ice for ATVs, but I would not probably not come out here with a, a vehicle yet. Although that, this ice is beautifully clear, as you can see, it froze just wonderfully. There we go, we're heading back down. K 
can he do three for three that pressure's on? I know he's he likes the pressure though, Corbin, right? Yeah. It's like that 20 foot putt for birdie to win it all. It's all about the pressure. See what he's doing? He's dropping it back down and bouncing That's it off it. the bottom a little bit. Another bite. Yeah. Good. Get him. Get him. Get him. Working the working the bottom here. Now you can see he's on the bottom. A lot of times with these trout, you'll see that your line will pile up in the hole because they'll hit it on the drop. They'll chase it around quite a bit, like you got one now, I think. No. Nope, no. Nope, no. Nope. Deceiving. Deceiving. And you see, we don't even use the, you know, fish finders or any of that kind of stuff. Once you know these spots, they're the same year after year. And yeah, the best thing I think is, you know, the advent of the GPS, obviously, to pinpoint. This is a small area, like it is, might be 100 feet in diameter, 30 meters maybe, and it's, it is, uh, whatchamacallit, a uh, mid-lake area. There's a little big rock gravel barred below, below us and then it goes into real deep water all the way around it's perfect piece of structure come on three times lucky here Yes, you want good, tough gear when you're doing this kind of stuff. It's, fish are hard on rods, reels, lures for that matter. What a great day for late uh, December. We're enjoying uh, probably plus, or not plus, but minus four or five right now. If you can scoop the hole with bare hand, you know, that's warm.